What's up guys, welcome to Chasing Chunks TV, I'm Johnny Tarsha, once again you join me in my fishing man cave and if you've not seen that backdrop before or you've not seen me then it'd be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to my channel, just in that corner is that little red icon, smash that and come and follow my videos, we're going to be going out during the winter period, during the colder months of this year and next and we're going to be chasing chunks, you can follow my adventures down on Kingswood Lake. Now, the video of today is not to talk about my winter campaign, it's to talk about these. These are the Sabre Digital Scales, and a couple of videos back in my library, I took a look at some of the features of these. I think they're 28 quid all in, and uh, I will leave a link at the end of this video, a little thumbnail for you to click on. Go and have a look at these uh, Cyber Digital Scales, I think you'll be very, very impressed. Now in the comment section below, a guy left a, a message saying he had a few problems with the zeroing of these scales. And with that, I took a look myself, had a little play around with them, and yeah, there is a problem with these. However, after doing a little bit of research, looking on the Cyber website, looking on their social media, I found literally nothing about this problem but after a little bit of button tapping i've managed to solve the issue and now they're absolutely perfect once again so basically the problem was when you switch these on obviously they go back to zero and they're all zeroed however if you want to zero your retention sling then what you do you put it on there and i'm just going to hit it now and then it goes to minus whatever you, your sling was. So I've just pulled down at two pounds, it's now minus two pounds. However, if I want to clear that, then there's gonna be a problem because when I get my retention sling with the carp in, we weigh the carp, it's obviously gone over what my retention sling was, and you have a little hold icon pop up. Now, if I want to represent that carp up like most of us do, very rare that I'll just pick the carp up once, weigh it, and then take it off and not represent it up to just to make sure. Uh, unfortunately, the only way to clear the hold on there is basically to either hit the zero, which will clear all your uh, all your previous retention sling weight or hit the off which again will also cancel out the memory so there is literally no way of representing up your fish without having to cancel all your settings beforehand so yeah look there's just no way i'm gonna hit the zero it's gone back to zero and yeah you've either got to turn it off or zero it and uh, weigh your fish and then i only have to put it back you have to redo it and recheck what your weigh sling was however after messing around with it i found a real simple solution basically all you do is hit that zero button and there you go it comes up h off which is hold off now the holds there just to uh, allow you to just to check your weight and once it's found the weight then it'll just hold it in place however when we've got it off it just acts as a normal weigh scale and you can keep representing your carp up and re-weighing it as much as you like i'm sure there's quite a few people out there that's having this issue and i like i say there's nothing on the box that tells you how to do this and uh, there is nothing out there or nothing on the in internet that will tell you how to rectify it until now so that's why i've got the video going uh, if you found it useful then uh, just click below and uh, yeah let me know that you've had the issue and you found something from this video and uh, yeah we're getting it all sorted so thank you for watching guys i'm gonna get back to doing my prep work and uh Hopefully you got something from this video. So it's Bush Bash Bosh, keep it touch, wet nets, tight line, and see you on my next video guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.